Hello and welcome to Baldur's Gate 2, one of the best CRPGs of all time, or so I've heard. I've never actually played Baldur's Gate 2. We did play Baldur's Gate 1 and Siege of Dragon Spear a couple of years ago, and it was a fun experience. It was a little bit dated, but it still held up pretty well. And the whole time I was playing it, I got a ton of comments saying, Baldur's Gate 2 is better. This was done better in Baldur's Gate 2. So I want to find out you know, what's changed? Is it better? Is this truly the pinnacle of CRPGs? Well, it's time to find out. One other reason for playing it though, is of course Baldur's Gate 3 comes out later this year, and there are apparently a few characters who may be reappearing, there are a few storylines that may be continuing. It's a good opportunity to just get a refresher. Now talking of a refresher, if you don't remember what happened in Baldur's Gate 1, well, we're about to get a video reminder as the starting cinematic basically recaps the major story point. So, enjoy! The Lord of Murder shall perish, but in his death he shall spawn a score of mortal progeny. Chaos shall be sown in their footsteps, so saith Alundo. spent your youth in the library fortress of Candlekeep, under the kind tutelage of your foster father Gorion. Imoen shared this home, a kindred spirit. Her background was as mysterious as your own. Gorion's murder brought answers to your questions when his killer Saravok was revealed to be your brother. You and Saravok were a product of the Time of Troubles, a chaotic period when gods were made flesh and forced to walk the earth. One such deity foresaw his own death and walked the land before the Cataclysm. He left a score of mortal offspring intended to be the fuel for his rebirth. The god was Baal, Lord of Murder, and you are one of his children. Saravak sought a war of sacrifice to prove his worth, believing he could become the new Lord of Murder. You killed your brother, sending his tank back to Baal. You were the hero of Baldur's Gate, but some suspected you shared the same lineage as Saravak. You departed soon after, under circumstances much darker than anyone would have believed. They came as you rested, figures cloaked in mist that clouded your thoughts, blurring the lines between consciousness and dreaming. There was no malice or hatred, no mention of an old score, only quick capture and the promise of grim deeds to come. Well now you've seen what happened in Baldur's Gate 1, it's time for us to advance forward into Baldur's Gate 2, and for that we need a character, so single player, and we are going to import a game. We're going to import what I believe is the final save from Siege of Dragon Spirit. Now, you might be saying, hmm, what do you actually get if you import a character? Well, what you get is the character itself, you get your level, you get the things that you've chosen along the way, and that's pretty much it. Now. If you have certain items with you, you will get some of those certain items at the start of the game. Not all items are going to carry across. If you have played Siege of Dragonspear, which we did, there are a list of items, and those items, if you obtain them, will be spread across uh, the Baldur's Gate 2 world as things that you can find. At least this is what I'm getting from the wiki. One exception to this is there's a separate list of items. Uh, specifically a list of weapons. If you have a weapon on that list of weapons, 
Then there is a quest somewhere in this game where a I think it's a genie or something it says will gift you an item or gift gift you some sort of weapon at the end of it. If you happen to have had one of those weapons, the genie is effectively giving you the weapon you had. If you didn't, then he'll just give you a randomly generated weapon for your class, which will, you know, in theory, probably be better. But anyway, um, that is pretty much what Important Your Game does. But it does let us see our character once again. So, it's kind of important. So, I've imported the save, and now we have our character, Felix. Felix is a ranger, so has a racial enemy. This is one of the things that lets you change between games. I'm assuming that's because in Baldur's Gate 1, there's a selection of enemies that you might fight. In Baldur's Gate 2, if you played it before, you might be like, well, no, I'm never going to run into, you know, a ghoul in this game. Obviously, I want an elemental thing or I want a dragon thing. We're just going to stick with demonic fell. That generally seems like an okay answer. We could, I could see ourselves running into them throughout the whole game. So we're going to keep it with that. And there you have it. We were an elf archer in the first game. and um, We had reasonable dexterity, but all of our other stats are kind of, you know, middling, I would say. But pretty good. Um, well, neutral good, in fact. Uh, we also knew some priest spells, and we had some weapon proficiencies. So this is basically what you get in your import. Things you can change. You can change the appearance of the character, like we can give him some slightly nicer looking clothing if we want to. I kind of think brown kind of fits his portrait. Now, yes, I know he doesn't have pointed ears. Trust me, he's an elf. He's, he's just incognito. Uh, but let's go for, like, that. And then what, like, he's got these little golden bits or, like, brownie golden bits there. Let's give him some of those. We're probably not going to notice this too much in gameplay. Let's make his clothing a little bit darker. That way the golden bits stand out a little bit more. And then pretty much everything else we'll just leave exactly as it is. So, Done. And then voice, uh, we're going to go with male 5. Previously, I went and had a look through. I think this is roughly right. To battle and victory! If it's not, then uh, it is now. He had a voice change in between uh, the games. So, there we go. And then you can also change the name if you want to. We're going to keep it as Felix. And uh, you can have a look at his biography, which is basically just a brief description of absolutely everything that happened during Baldur's Gate 1. Now, um, I am going to be reading all of the lore in the game as we get to it, or if we've got books, we will grab it and we'll do some kind of like reading sessions to just get through them. But uh, we'll leave this one because uh, effectively it's just the plot of Baldur's Gate 1 and, well, you should either know it or you don't care or you can go and watch my previous series and then you'll get the whole idea. So, we have to choose the difficulty that we're going to be playing on. We're going to be playing on Core Rules. Core Rules is basically everything in theory works as it would in the D&D books back in the day. So, enemies are going to do the damage that they should do, party members are going to die, spells aren't guaranteed to be copied to spell books. We may or may not save scum the last one, but essentially, we're going to be playing with just things work as you expect them to work. We're not going to have any, like, mixed damage or anything, and we'll see how it goes. Um, I think we played this on Baldur's Gate 1. If not, it's a new challenge. So... Let's venture forth. Ah, the child of Ball has awoken. It is time for more experiments. Ugh. The pain will only be passing. You should survive the process. Should? Interesting. You have much untapped power. Do you even realize your potential? More intruders have entered the complex, Master. They act sooner than we had anticipated. No matter, they will only prove a slight delay. Hey, Simowen. 
Uh, what? Imowen? What's going on? He messed with your head too, huh? All I know is that we were near Baldur's Gate and got jumped. Ooh, okay, so we got a journal update. I have awoken in a strange mage's dungeon, and Imowen has released me from my cell. We must find a way to escape this place, although I suspect the exits might be barred by magic. We might be able to find a way to leave if we explore the area, although we'll need to be careful. Who knows what traps this mage has laid, or what guards he employs. I should keep an eye out for weapons and armor to equip myself with, too. Likely some of my items are hidden somewhere in this complex if he hasn't destroyed or sold them already. Oh, I don't think I want to remember it all. He's been doing things to us. Felix, we have to get out of here. Um, we're not going to ask if we can trust her. One thing that we always did, we were naive, we were heroic, and that's what we went with. So, we're going to trust her. Um, but I'm going to say doing things? What do you mean? Come on, Felix. Don't make me think of it. He did the same to you, I think. I heard you screaming like it anyway. Um... Well, a little headache is not going to stop me. It isn't normal pain, Felix. It's on the inside. Like my bones made a little dagger and it won't go away. Don't look at me like that. It just hurts, alright? Must have been the noise. There was a fight. Assassins came after our captor, I think. There's people dead all over, and the fighting is still going on. I could hear it. Are you going to get moving, or do I leave without you? You seem awfully quick to abandon me. Stop being like that. I know it's just because he messed with your head, but that excuse only goes so far. Come on, I'll drag you out of here if I have to. Just so long as we get out. I can't go through anymore. We should look in that room to the west first. West and then just a bit north. I think I saw some weapons in there. It's a room off the corner of this one. So, this one probably? Yes, should be this one. I don't think it's our gear. They probably sold our best stuff, but anything is better than nothing. Now let's go. And there we have it, and our first journal update. And she obviously has some uh, things going on here. She's casting spells already. Right, journal update, important events. There we go. Uh, chapter one, my old friend Imowen has rescued me from imprisonment. I don't remember how I was brought here, and neither do I know um, who would want us, uh, or wish us locked up. My mind aches, my memory is a haze. What's happened, where am I? Okay, F fair questions to be asking. Right, now she's just cast a whole bunch of spells, which makes me think that we are probably going to have to start by changing our scripts. So, um, let's see here. Let's take off use abilities just for just now. Um, I think I usually just switch them into ranged or into a standard attack or something. Yeah, I think that's what I usually do. So let's just switch ourselves into ranged. That's fine. And then Imowen is ready to level up, apparently. So she's a dual class. Dual class of mage and thief. Okay. Well, what is she good with? So she's very good at opening locks. Being a thief, that would kind of make sense. Finding traps. Uh, not very good at setting traps. Has some backstab damage. And, of course, has an AI script. Yes. Uh, so let's just turn that off to start with. Uh, let's just go with ranged for just now. I don't actually know what she is. Uh, she is a mage, though, what you would assume range. So she uses a short sword, dagger, quarterstaff, short bow, and dart. So, like, who knows? Um, okay, this is fine. So we'll leave her as it is. Um, so ready to level up. I guess we should just level her up, then. I don't really know what else we need to do. Level up. So level up results. She got additional mage spells and additional hit points granted. That seems good. Done. All right, we leveled her up. Okay. Um, so that actually put our mage level up to level 10, interestingly. Okay, cool. Um, I'm not entirely sure how the dual class works here. If you happen to know anything, by the way, about uh, old D&D or about this game or anything that you would think would be interesting gameplay-wise, please let me know. I'm very interested in learning how the system actually works, but we will work on, uh, you know, best efforts up until then. Right, uh, let's go to her character sheet for just now. Does she have anything? She has a belt. Imowen's belt. Okay. Imowen does not know when or how she acquired this belt, and despite all her efforts and magic, it cannot be removed or unbuckled. All right. Well, that seems um, useless. She has no weapons. Uh, do we have anything else? Uh, she probably has spells, right? If she's a mage, I would imagine so. 
Let's see. I mean, she just used stone skin on herself. Um, ah, yes, there's a... Uh, that's actually it. I, it's all coming back to me now. We do need to go in here and change her script to... I think it's Thief Controlled. Which will allow her... Yeah, the D key causes you to hide shadows as long as there are no enemies in line of sight. And pressing the V key causes the thief to stop using her skills and start attacking the nearest enemy. Uh, yes. So I think it's the D key that you want to use on that one. Yeah, so we'll do that. So we'll do that, that, done. Then, hopefully, if I press the D key, stop detecting traps slash illusions, attempting to hide in shadows, hide in shadows, failed. And she should just continue doing that, I think. Oh no, now she's searching for traps. Okay, this is what we want her to be doing. We want her to be detecting traps and illusions at all times. Cool. Uh, let's set ourselves up a formation here. Let's just see. It shall be. That looks fine to me. We're not really going for anything uh, too special. Right, does she... Act Actually, let's go with this. That way she'll be standing behind us slightly. No, we want to do... Oh, that. There we go. Come on. I'm not cut out for the leadership So now, stuff. if yep. I select Back. us here... Yeah, she'll stand behind us, which is what we want in the end here. Perfect. Right, next thing we need to do is have a look at our spells. Uh, does she have any spells worth casting? So that'll be in here. So she currently has Stone Skin, or which is somewhere along here. I'm assuming she has Stone Skin. There we go, which she's already used. Uh, and then she also has Minor Globe of Invulnerability. Creates a faintly shimmering magical sphere around the castle that prevents any first, second, or third level spell from penetrating. Okay. Cool. However, any Kuiper spell can be cast out of the magical sphere. That seems useful. Okay. Uh, what else has she cast already? Just before we got a chance to do anything? No, that's it. Okay. What do you want? So if we go in here, we should see a list of spells that she could cast. Wonderful. Name it. What does she have... Uh, there's some magic missile, that's some good damage. Uh, Identify is probably useful. Chromatic orb, that does some um, damage plus some other stuff. And then she has armor. It's a magical field of force that serves as if it was scale mail uh, for nine hours. Okay. It's cumulative with dexterity bonus to armor class. Uh, well, that seems useful for her to cast. We should probably do that. Uh, stone skin. When a wizard casts this powerful spell upon herself, an outer skin of stone will move up from the ground, completely covering her. The skin is, of course, magical and will hinder the wizard in no way. The effect is to protect the wizard from physical attacks such as melee, weapons, and projectiles. For every two levels of caster... Blah, 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 blah. Okay. So it's going to protect her from a bunch of things. Uh, we have a lightning bolt here. That's useful. Uh, monster summoning could be good. And then haste, very, very good. And then in here, we actually have a spell slot that is available to memorize in. Strength, I'm guessing just, well, yeah, it gives her strength. Uh, web, uh, stinking cold, and then maybe we'll just have acid, we'll just uh, memorize acid arrow as well on top of that. There we go. So we'll learn that next time we, or we'll use that next time we rest. Yes. Nice. We actually have a few spells as well. We have armor of faith, which lasts for rounds, so we don't need to worry about that one. It absorbs a portion of uh, damage intended for the caster. And then we have Bless, which lasts for a number of rounds. Again, not something that we need to worry about. Cool. Right, I think we're all set here. Uh, we Ready should probably speak to the other people in here, right? That would seem like a sensible thing to do. Also, quick save. Good to go. Right. Hello. Who are you? Minsk. Oh, hello. Ah, Minsk will be free. These bonds will not hold my wrath, but will be liberally kicked in good measure. Minsk, your warrior spirit must find these bars unbearable. Time is short for talk, and that is small. Release me, and I will rain beatings down upon all who have dared touch me, and Dinah here, she will be avenged. Dinah here, is there another trapped here? Or wait, if she's avenged, does that mean she's dead? Trapped? Her spirit, her spirit is trapped in a cage created by my failure. I was to guard her, but she, she, they, they killed her as I watched, you see. I know not who they were, but, but I will redeem myself. Minsk, that is horrible. I'm so sorry for you. I won't cry for the dead, I won't. 
Well, okay, maybe a little, but I will staunch the flow of tears with righteous fury. Lullaby and good night, evil. Minsk will make you pay. Will you help me? We must join together once more, and our fury will be such that the bards will run their quills dry. Yes, ink will be scarce where we go. Um. Well, I will try and free you, but I don't know how to open your cell. I do not know either. The bars have no lock at all. They are smithed together. I am proud that they feared me enough to imprison me per uh, permanently. Permanently. That's going to make this difficult. But you will keep looking, of course. You would never give up. I know this. A hero always succeeds, and a hero never stops short of her goal. Okay. Uh, but she also needs a key or a switch, and I don't know where they are. You have brushed me aside with your words. You won't help. Boo can see it now. You do not intend to cut my chains. You only intend to yank them. I will make sure you do not live long enough to abandon more friends. I will. I will do all of this as soon as I get these bars open. Hurrah! Wait, did we tell, say that we were going to abandon him? I'm fairly certain we didn't say that. Well, I didn't mean to say that. Anyway. Um... Yeah, I just said I don't know where they are. I see Imowen just said I don't know where they are. I guess we spoke to him with Imowen. Okay, that's also interesting to know. The bars, I... they bend and twist with my berserker strength. Minsk and Boo are free. Now you will not. No. Well, that was easy enough. Um, I was a little bit concerned there for a second because there or like minorly perplexed because there was an item that we got at the end of Baldur's Gate that changed our gender, and I thought we changed it back in Siege of Dragon Spear. But, um, yes, we did. It was just that Imowen was the one talking. That's fine. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, you are a smart one. I understand now. You said what you did just to get me mad. Mad enough to break free. <laughs> you are as smart as Boo sometimes. Now we can resume our adventures together. There are friends to avenge and villains to smack about the face and neck, right, Boo? Um. Together we shall make our enemies answer for our fallen. Answer they will, and my sword shall be the question. We shall have fistfuls of sweet, sweet justice, and our enemies will be stains beneath our feet. What? Yes, but, but, all right. Boo tells me I am braving again. I did not notice the difference, but I shall heed his words nonetheless. Come, we must go now. Yes, Minsk and Boo and you, together. Beware, villains. I will force justice down your evil, evil throats. Um, are you talking to a hamster? What kind of warrior are you? I am the best kind of warrior. I am large, and I carry nature's favor with me wherever I go. Boo is my animal companion, and while some smaller rangers might compensate for their size by traveling with bears or wolves, I prefer the subtleties provided by a miniature giant space hamster. Yes, subtle. I don't know about that, Minsk, but he sure is a cute little fuzzy wuzzy, aren't you, Boo? Boo is the best purchase I ever made. And despite my head wound, I could tell that his previous owner was good and honest. Boo is an asset to us all. Then let us be off, and woe be to those that dare stand in our way. I have lost myself in your words, but Boo thinks you're just ducky. Onward! Alright, we now have Minsk. Well, 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 well done us. Um, we managed to find a way to free him. Obviously, our captor underestimated the wrath of a man and his hamster. Yes, Something obviously. Up? Right, let's right you are. get ourselves in a little Quickly. formation. We must get out of here before whoever did this returns. I swear, traveling with you is never dull. Hello, Jahira. Um. Well. Do you know where we are? Any clue would be helpful. I'm sure we could navel gaze all day about what brought us here, but it shall certainly prove pointless if we do not remove ourselves from immediate danger. I do not know who has entrapped us here either, and I would rather not find out simply uh, waiting for them to return. We are at a disadvantage in this place. 
I will recount what led to this if you wish, though I think I have little to offer that you do not know already. My husband Khalid and I have travelled with you for some seasons now, and the places we have seen number too many to name. Your unique heritage has proven a magnet to adventure, for better or worse, and your foster father was right in directing us to watch over you. We remain in your company as friends, more than guardians, and our exploits together have left the land for the better. We have earned many enemies, but we have dispatched them all. Whoever has trapped us now is certainly powerful to have done so this easily. Once we know, we will deal with them in due course, but for the time being, it is more important that we retrieve our friends and companions and leave this place. Um, where's Khalid now? Is he not with you? I do not know where he is, and it worries me. No doubt he was taken as we were, though it seems we were all meant for different fates. From the state of my head, I think I have been drugged, though I have been spared any serious physical mistreatment. You, however, look as though you have been treated most unfavorably. I should not like to think of Khalid receiving the same. Um. Well, I will help, but your cage seems to be sealed magically. I don't know. If you are of sufficient strength, it is possible the cage may be broken. If not, you may have to search for whatever key it might need. Do try to hurry. I wish to be out of here before the owner returns. The ease of our capture suggests it may be beyond our power to resist. It would be best to face the culprit another day on our own terms, so go and be quick. We must free ourselves soon. Okay. So, uh, Jahira is captured currently, and we have to find a way to get her out here. That's fine. Uh, let's start by leveling Minsk though, because I didn't really mean to move on. So Minsk, what are you? He's a ranger. Much like, well, we're an archer, but you know, he he's much like we are. He's good with a two-handed sword though, that's his main thing. We can find him a two-handed weapon, we will be laughing. Racial enemy is a vampire for him. Okay, uh, we're going to turn him to standard attack. Defend himself if attacked or if they see enemies. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds right. Or is it cautious I want? Flee at the first sign of danger. Um, no, I, I think it's this one. I don't know. We'll figure all this stuff out later. Let's go for cust Let's go for standard attack. That seems fine. Right. Um, I guess I'm going to click level up. There we go. We are going to level up. Fantastic. You have now leveled. Good. Uh, and you have the exact same HP as we do, which is... Well, probably makes a lot of sense. Right, um, now, what we want to do here is we want to have a look at your priest spells. There we go. And let's just get you something. So, um, Shillelagh would actually be okay, because that could get you a cudgel that we could then use to hit people. It's not a fantastic thing right now, but let's let's choose that. Yeah, let's choose that one. Right. You Can you open the door? Minsk you said if you have enough strength, maybe you could do it. Inside. Oh, you also have a hamster? Does the hamster do anything? Um, the hamster is Boo. Boo is a fuzzy little hamster. While Minx believes that Boo is a miniature giant space hamster, you are rather certain that the tiny rodent is just a normal hamster. Can I... Oh. Boo scuttles away as you try to grab him. Minx stops any further attempts to steal the animal with a harsh lair. It just lowers the number of quick slots he has. Cool. Uh, can you open the door? On my sword while you can, evil. I won't be as gentle. It's locked. Okay. Uh, is there a way of unlocking it? Stealth, guard. I thought there was a way of trying to, like, force open a lock. What's this? Berserk, charm animal. We probably don't need those right now. That's fine. Uh, not that. Can, you have no way of doing anything there? That's fine. Right. What is my uh, time to move? We will leave it as it is. That's fine. That's on. See what else we got. So we do have set snare. That's fine. We don't need to do that. Okay. We could put on thieving. Wait, is this does this allow all you right, to right. do something with it? No. Okay, it does not have a conventional lock and may be warded against simple spells. Okay. So yep. select everybody. No problem. And let's do what I was doing before we did this, which was try to figure out how we set our party up so that they could walk like sensibly. Um Oh god, I didn't mean to do whatever I just did there. Um, I'm gonna just press escape. There we go. I think this is what we're after. 
Can I get this so that we actually line up properly? No, not really. So I think what we want to do is we want to swap our position with Minsk's. There we go. So now when we walk, Minsk will be at the front. Sure. That kind of works. Okay. Um, this must be the corner of the room she was talking about. Let's go. And in here we have... Whatever this is? You're too far away to use that. Well then go closer. Okay. Minsk and Boo stand the portal ready. requires a key of some sort. You cannot step through without this. Okay, without this you item. Okay, Minsk was talking over the top of it. So it must be this door that has our equipment in it then. But she said west. So it's either that one or it's this one and then north. Um, hello. Um. Yeah, let me just grab all my stuff. You're okay with that, right? So what's this thing? Jail cell, uh, jail cell key. That seems useful. Uh, we got some things. You got two-handed sword. All right, so we'll give that one to Minsk. Minsk, you now have a sword. That seems good. Um, now what kind of sword did we use? I think we used a long sword. Uh, we had no skill in sword, but we used two weapon fighting. That was it, yes. No particular skill, but just happened to use swords anyway. Let's give you the katana and the long sword. You can equip this little dagger for just now. And then we'll give you a katana. Alright, there we go. A katana and a long sword. Which, of course, makes perfect sense for our character. Right. And then the rest of this we'll just chuck to Minsk so that he can carry all of this junk rather than having her carry it all. Right. I think this is probably for Jahira. Um, I would guess. That's fine. Right. Can I open this? He seems awfully fine with us just, like, you know, opening everything. So what have we got? Uh, studded leather... Leather armor. So studded leather is armor class 7, while leather is armor class 8. So this is better. Now, the reason why this is better is because this game works on a Thax 0 system. If you don't know what Thax 0 is, it's uh, to hit armor class 0 is basically how everything works, I think. And then the lower armor class is better because your to hit um, is based... Yeah, lower armor class is better because... I get to it here. Um, the calculation for to hit um, takes away your armor class from what you need to roll. So let's say you had a two hit of 17 and you wanted to hit six. Well, that means that to roll to hit an armor class of zero, you need to roll 17. But to hit an armor class of six, you need to roll 11. I think I've got that right. Um, because it's sick, it, because you would take away the armor class. If you end up with a negative armor class, then you're making it harder to hit yourself. I think that's basically the logic. Anyway, so if I equip this, are you going to end up with a worse armor class? That's what I'm wondering here. No, you will end up with three. Okay. That seems fine. Um, what about this one? You'll end up with four. Let's give you that one for just now. Because I'm going to give that one to you, I would think. And then, Mints, can you use any of the heavy armor? Let's have a look at the heavy armor for Minsk. He could use this one, and he could use this one. Okay. What else have we got? We have a shield, which nobody's going to use. And a helmet. Uh, what's helmet do? Protects against critical hits. Well, we'll definitely give that to you. Stick on the helmet. Good. Now, this is armor class 4. And this is armor class 5. So, I would suspect that we want to be using the splint mail. Perfect. Actually, I guess if he can... Oh, I was going to say if he can use it, that means there's a chance that we could use it. No. Okay. That's fine. And then these can sit on him for just now. Geo key can sit on us. That's all okay. Right. Cool. Um, Nothing in there. Let's leave for a second. What about this? It's locked. Okay. Uh, well, I'm going to quick save and we're going to try and... Name it. Unlock it. This way, then. Nice. We got it. That seems good. And you now have a dagger. 
I'm assuming, because it's the first dungeon, they're not going to make it a cursed item, and we can give the dagger to her. Um, uh, There's like a base identify skill, I think, like, the, or something that allows you to identify things. I'll just try giving it to people. Did you identify what the dagger is? It's a dagger plus one. Fantastic. Let's give it back. There you go. Dagger plus one. Seems like a good thing. Right. Uh, let's gather everybody. Ready oh, try to use control A to select gotcha. everybody. That is not an option. Okay. Just as I will at some point try and use WASD to actually move the camera, which um, is also not an option. Quick save. Let's fear. Your servant awaits. Well, that is a relief, and about time too. We should be going immediately. Not only might our host come back, I simply must see the sun again in none too short a time. This dank place stifles me. Um. Well. We will leave immediately and celebrate once we are out of this hole. As you would have it, though there are other friends we must find as well, it is good to share your company again. Okay, we have freed her, and she is leveled up. Now she, I believe, is a druid. I await your need. Uh, multi-class, fighter druid. Okay, cool. Um, we're gonna customize her here. She's pro we're probably just gonna go for standard attack for to snow until I work out what I actually want them to be on. Then we're gonna level her up. She gets a ton of different things. She gets a bunch of saving throws gone up. Saving throws reduced, I think, yeah, that's all good, yeah, okay, cool, and then 21 additional uh, hit points, and this lore, that's what does it, that's what allows you to uh, identify things, there we go, so she's now set up, um, and I believe we should be able to chuck across some things to her, like, for instance, this, can she use armor, she could use armor, okay, I don't know if she can cast spells while in armor, but sure, we'll give her that, We'll give her this. Uh, I'm assuming she can use that because that's kind of what you use. Club, quarter staff. Yeah, so she would prefer a club if we could find her a club, but a quarter staff will do for just now. She can also go um, sword and shield style if we want to. So we could go club and shield, but we'll go with that for just now. Uh, we'll assume that she's going to use a shield at some point. So we'll chuck these across to her. Do we have a club here? Is a mace a club? A mace is a mace. You know, I never thought about it that way. That is all, that's a warhammer. Okay, cool, so that's fine. Okay, and then we have some health potions that we should split out, if I can remember what the split button is. Um, double click, it's double click, okay. Then we're gonna give one to you. Uh, actually, you probably don't even need one. We'll give one to Felix and we'll give one to Jahira. There we go, one for you, and one for you. Everybody now has a health potion. Good. Right. Um, now, because she's a druid, we should have some spells. Let's see, a couple of heals. Uh, doom, what does Doom do? Minus two penalty on all the ro rolls, including that zero and saving throw. Okay, there is no saving throw for this spell, which is pretty good. A couple of entangles. Let's maybe go for another Doom. Yeah, let's just, let's just memorize another Doom for just now. Right. Level 2, we have a couple of charm person or mammal, plus a bark skin, which we, which is round based. Okay, that's fine. Good berries do allow a little bit of healing. It's not a ton of healing, I gotta say. Probably not worth uh, what we put into it there. Flame blade, resist fire and cold. I don't really know what we're going to run into. Um, maybe I'll just go for... I have absolutely no idea. Maybe we'll just take another charm person for just now. We'll look into these in more depth as we start actually using things. But right now, it's just a ton of things all at once. Uh, call lightning is probably fine. Cure medium wounds. None of this will apply until we rest anyway. Cure serious wounds. What's death ward? Protects target from all forms of death magic. Seems useful. Not that we're going to run into any of that right this second. Um... But call woodland beings, that sounds useful. And then maybe maybe another cure serious wounds. Level 5, what's mass cure? Priests must picture their faces of fellow party members clearly and focus upon the unity of a group upon completion. All party members within a 15 feet radius of the caster are healed. 1d8 plus 1 per level hit points. 
Curing is permanent insofar as the creature does not sustain firmer, further damage, caused wounds will heal, or can be cured just as any normal injury. Okay, um, let's just see what else we've got here. Uh, probably cure critical wounds, and then maybe mass cure. These seem like useful things for her to have. She is effectively gonna be our healer for just now, because we have nobody else available. Something up? Right, uh, you see, I just tried to move with WASD, which uh, also turns off the uh, party AI, which Time I just noticed move. there. That's gonna be fun. Good to go. Right. So we have Felix at the front, Jahira, Mint. Let me just check that that's right. Nah, there we go. So it should be. We just don't have enough space to actually move our party around right now. Yeah, all right, they'll work it out. They'll work it out. Okay. Yes, yeah, so this is what we want. We want these two at the front with with Minsk, and then we want uh, Imwin at the back. Now, ideally, we actually want both of us at the back. Maybe actually we want this formation for just now. Yeah, and instead of you, we would have uh, Felix. I will strive to actually. Lead that's not what we want. We want Jahira. As I have said before, you it is done. There we go. So we would want something that looks a little bit like once they work it out, a little bit like this. So these two at the front, us two at the back with some kind of ranged weapons, but, you know, we don't have any ranged weapons, so that's fine. Uh, let's quick save and then start exploring some more. I mean, we could leave now in theory, but let's explore. Uh, we cannot open that door or there's nothing in it. Okay, can we speak to the Jailkeep Golem? Prisoners, you must not escape. The master does not will it. Wow, a golem. Powerful magic stuff. Odd it's not hostile. I suppose its maker didn't expect us to escape, so it never got orders for restraining us. They, obvious, they only do exactly what they're directed to. They don't really think. If it hasn't been told to keep quiet, we might get some information out of it. Prisoners, you must not escape. The master does not will it. Who is this master you speak of? I am not permitted to speak with prisoners. Return to your cells. It is the master's wish. Um, the master wanted, wants me free. He released me. Only I release the master's prisoners. You are his and must return to the cells. It is his wish. Um, where are we and why have we been brought here? You are his prisoners. He has brought you to his home because he owns you now. You must return to your cell. It is your master's wish. Um, I will not return to that cage. Do you think to stop me from leaving? I am not bound to stop you. The guardian will stop you from leaving. Return to your cells. It is the master's wish. Who or what is the guardian? The guardian will keep you from the master's chambers. You must return to your cells. It is your mas It is the master's wish. All right. We got some information out of him there. So we can explore that way if we want to. So what's at the back? Yeah, okay. We also have this way, which is where the master went. I'm assuming that we're going to be punished if we go, like, the direct way that the master went. Do we have what we need to activate the teleport? I'm going to quick save. Requires a key of some sort, so we need to get whatever this key is. All right. Well, let's do what we weren't told to do, which is go this way. I'm assuming this is the correct way, because that's the way Imowin came in. Well, let's do this. Maybe we can, like... Oh, okay, whoa, 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 pause. The bodies of several black hooded thieves litter the hallway, slaughtered by a massive release of magical energy. From the distant explosions you can still hear, it seems that as if whatever battle killed these men still rages. Is this gonna get us killed? It might. Lightling Mephit, our first enemy. Attack it. We're gonna get destroyed. Well, this ain't good. Mistake. Hey, we did damage. We killed it. We have successfully killed an enemy. Singular enemy. What's this do? Um, you? Actually, right, all of you attack. You, click on this. This is a switch of some kind. Perhaps it will stop the lightning contraption from conjuring any more of these annoying little methods. Speak your mind. Do it. Nature's high. Do what I say. 
Nice. It stopped once I flicked the switch. It's good. Now you can head in here and help attack. There we go. I actually just realized it looked like it did a ton of damage to us because it took away a whole bar. But all that's effectively saying is that the first bar is not uh, full. Okay. Like, we actually still have 77 out of 79 on him, for instance. Okay. Well, just wander over here. Don't mind me. <laughs> Minsk, welcome! You have escaped somewhat later than I had hoped. I am Atakwa. Ah, I see whom I must talk to. No offense, Minsk, but I am curious how Felix will react to me. Felix, I have questions. Be not afraid. You have my welcome to my little piece of this place. I do so try to keep it more appealing than the rest. My thanks. How is it that you know my name? What is going on here? Your name is well known among those who watch. Your life's thread is bright indeed, though in your path lies many a dark and frayed end. As to easing your mind and answering such questions as those that surely plague you, it is not my place to do so. I am sorry. Um. Well. Let's see what we're going to say. Then, of what use can you be to me? Such assistance as you will get from me depends on yourself. Are you prepared to answer a question? I will answer your question if it leads to you making some sense. Then here is my hypothetical question. You and your sibling are captured and locked in separate cells, unable to communicate. The mage responsible appears and speaks. He explains his sadistic game. In each cell, there is a magical button. If you press your button and your sibling does not, you will die. But your sibling is free. If your sibling presses the button and you do not, they will die. But you will go free. If neither you nor your sibling presses the button, you, both of you will die. Okay. If both of you press your respective buttons, then both of you will die. The maid says you have one turn of the hourglass to decide your actions, then he leaves. So this is the, uh, this is like game theory, right? Um, oh, it's, it stopped down there. There we go. So let's see. You and your sibling are captured, locked in separate cells. Okay, so you can't communicate. He explains his game. In each cell, there is a magical button. If you press your button and your sibling does not, you will die. But your sibling is free. If your sibling presses the button and you do not, they will die, but you will go free. If neither you nor your sibling presses the button, both of you will die. If both of you press your respective buttons, both of you will die. The mage says you will have one turn of the hourglass to decide your fate, that he, then he leaves. Okay. So, hypothetical scenarios. You press the button. Your sibling does not, they leave. You press the button, your sibling presses it, you die. You don't press your button, your sibling presses their button, you leave. Neither of you press the button, you die. So there are effectively two options here. If you don't press the button, you can survive, like you can live. If your sibling, um, yes, if, if you press the button, your sibling can live, but you will die, right? Um, if the sibling press the button and you do not, they will die, but you will go free. Yes. So the question is asking, do you, would you give your life for your sibling, right? Because if you don't press the button, then effectively what you're saying is your sibling should press the button and let you go free. If you press the button, you're saying to your sibling, hey, I'm going to let you go free. So I think we, we as a hero heroic type character would press the button on the assumption that our sibling would not press the button and then they would go free. However, if both you and your sibling are good people, then you're going to die. So this is one of these interesting ones where because we don't have all this, you know, uh, we don't have all the data points, we don't know. But I'm going to press the button because it's the only way our sibling could live. Yeah, let's do that. This is silly. Buttons are not how one escapes dungeons. I would smash the button and rain beatings liberally down on a wizard for playing such a trick. 
Verily, of that I have no doubt, Minsk. But the question is hypothetical and requires an answer born of answer, born of the wisdom of Felix, not your impatience. Tell me, Felix, do you press the button? Yes. Interesting. No action can be performed without consequences, especially that which follows the noble path. Deal with this, noble one. Ah, you see, so they recognize that. So what are we facing? An ogre mage? Kill it. Fall, creature, and feed the earth. Okay. Well... Oh, hopefully we can win. I don't really have any other combat tactics that we can really do here. I mean, I guess we could heal. Uh, Jahira, this might be time for you to leave. Oh, oh. We killed it. Aha. Oh, that's a genie. Oh, is this the genie that gives you the item? <laughs> that I was talking about in the intro? I was like, oh, I thought this was going to be like, you know, well into the game. We were going to forget about it. No, it's literally the genie that's like right outside the door. Okay. <laughs> well done. It appears that you can deal with the consequences of your actions. In return for your indulgence, I offer advice. Seek out Raylev. He waits for you as such. Seek out Raylev. Raylev. Offer him the release he craves, then you shall find that the focus of your journey shall soon become apparent. Farewell! Okay, seek out Raylev. Now, did that make a journal entry for us? Or is that something that we're going to want to note down? Uh, that did not make a journal entry whatsoever. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to use this as a way of finding things. So, seek out... Uh, how do we spell it? There's something like Raylev. Okay. Um, he waits for such as you. He waits for such as you. Done. Uh, weird genie. Done. Now, now we have that in our journal. We can now do that. All oh, right. Offer him the release he craves, and you shall find that the focus of your journey should become apparent. Let's also add that to the journal entry. Now that I think about it, that's kind of important. Um, edit. A offer him the release he craves, um, and the focus of your journey shall soon become uh, apparent. Parents. Something like that. I don't know why I was writing apparently. I think it's apparent. I don't know. Whatever. Done. Close enough. Um, it was it was apparent. Okay. I'll, I'll go and I'll go and change it. Okay. You you got me. My spelling is not my greatest forte, but writing messages in my journal that will yes. be uh, a forte for us. Right. As I would have done. Um. Well, that was kind of um. Yes, that was odd. Oh yeah, we never actually picked up what we were getting from this guy. Just a random sword? It's a bastard sword. Okay, what is a bastard sword? It is a one-handed sword that does 2d4. Let me pass that over to you, as you're the only person who's likely going to use it. Um, That would give us slightly more consistent damage. Yeah, let's go with that. Actually, compared to the katana, what would it give us? I uh, guess I'd need to do it like this. So compared to the katana, this has a better thack but lower damage. Okay, so better to hit, lower damage. That's fine. We'll do this. Right. That seems okay. Ready. Quick save. If this way. Um, do we need to heal Jahira? I kind of get the feeling we might need to. Kill the goblin. If I have to fight to get out of here... So oh no, I might have made a mistake. This is okay. Never mind, goblins are uh, made for killing. That's fine. Wait for us to get out of combat. Quick save. You are going to heal yourself. There we go, and then we're going to get you to heal yourself again. That seems fine. Let's go. 
Uh, actually, one thing I was also thinking is what are our armor classes? No, this makes sense for these two to be at the front. They have the lowest armor class. Alright, so this is locked. Emowin? Yep. Can you unlock Red it? Is rain. Mechanism that op operates this door does not have a conventional lock and is warded Nature's against simple spells. Awaits. Okay. I await cool, as you let's go this it. way. Uh, we also never went back around this way. We should probably have a look at that at some point. None of this can be clicked on. You can zoom out a long way on this map. That's actually kind of useful to zoom out this far. Gives you a bit of a view around things. Right, um... Yeah, so that looks like a way forward. Let's just see if there's anything this direction. It might be like, this is the way out. And then, you know, we'll, we'll just simply walk back. But it's useful to just have a quick look. I'm assuming that this teleport is the way out. So we have to find a way to get the teleport to activate. But, okay. Smoke method. To battle Kill it. And you know what? Walk backwards. That's probably why you're taking all the damage. I am ready. I am willing. Get in here. Kill it. Next time. There we go. Now we're trying to hit it. And we got it. Nice. She took a little more damage, but that's okay. We could be sneaking around the place, which we probably will do at some point, but let's not worry about it right now. It's locked. Let what me guess. Uh, we can't unlock it? Right, you are. Yep. Okay. Speak your mind. Well, in which case, we want to be over here. This makes a lot of sense for us to go this direction. This way is fine. Okay. So further into this place. Oh, uh, we can click on this as well. It's, that seems like a good idea. That's probably what's making that ring noise. Yeah, the slight ring noise is definitely coming from that. We'll see what we can... Uh, find out when we click on it and click on it this room is dominated uh, by mineral deposits and crystals it seems to be a natural cavern that the strange prison has been built around the air holds an aura of power and several pools with swirling lights grace the rough uh, edge of the rough cavern okay cool walk through here goblins get them okay Battle, you get them. I'm going to send them to the back just to uh, disrupt. That's fine. It's fleeing. Got it. You back off. You attack. You attack. Go. That's fine. She's still being shot at despite, uh, you know, not being the one that's actually in combat. But that's okay. Um... I guess I'm going to get you to heal. I think part of the problem is she walks so much quicker than everybody else that she gets into combat first and therefore they all target her first. If it will help. I don't know how to fix it, but I think that's the problem. Okay. Um, I choose this direction. Well, that looks weird. What did we spot? An enemy? Yes. Uh, Mist Mephit. Okay, get him. I... I know this room. I've been in here. We both have. He... There are things in these tanks. They used to be people. What kind of monster is this guy? Captures us as easy as pie. Kills whoever he wants. That could have been us in those last things. Um, we'll get him back, Immowin. We'll make him pay for all of this. We don't even know where we are. My head is still doing funny things. He said something. Something about potential. He said something like releasing power within you so it could be used. But if that means taking part in horrible things, I don't like this place. Can we go? No, we have to kill the method. Oh, okay. Um, so, Imowen said... Wait, where is this uh, journal update? Is it here? In oh, is it in here? Right. Uh, does my capture no captor no way for me to gain power? Imwen said something odd. Our captor apparently had some insight into my condition as a child of Bali. Supposedly mentioned a means of allowing me to cap that power. I have no position to question him at the moment, but I'll keep it in mind for future. All right, I'll keep it in mind. Right, kill it. Keep going. You'll hit it eventually. Yeah. Okay. At some point, I'm sure you'll hit it. There we go. And kill it. Wonderful. So we've got that. We'll grab the loot. 
A bow? Oh, ho, ho. Look at this, mister. Have I got a present for you? It's a bow and five arrows. Yeah, now we're talking. I think actually I want to do it like this. Um, I forget how you make it so that one equips right away. I think you have to do it down below. Uh, but yes, a bow and five whole arrows. Actually, you know what we should do? We should keep him using his, um, that. He was probably using the bow because, yeah, he's probably using the, wasn't using the bow because he had no ammo assigned to him. That's important to learn. Also, I just realized something. Um, script, standard attack. There we go. Uh, same with you. We're going to change your script to standard attack. Uh, actually, thief controlled is what we want you to be on. Right. Uh, just because um, we don't want him switching to I the bow, which he would probably do. Right, quick save. And explore. Kill it. It's an ice myth. Okay. We got it. Don't die, Jahiro. That would be really unfortunate at this point in the game for you to die. Um, I have no more heals. That's a trapped uh, thing. That's good to know. Uh, unpause. Jahiro? Speak your mind. Heal. Then I'm gonna go, hey, Minsk, why don't you give her the, uh, some of that? Why don't you give her some of that? Alright, I'm gonna change how I'm gonna play, I think. So, chug. Chug. There we go, chug. More, more health potions. This obviously isn't working. Let's switch our formation to this. As you would have it. And yeah, that's probably fine, except that I'm going to swap you two for just now. To lead Consider it there done. we go. That seems better for right... Th yeah, that seems better for right this second. Yeah, that seems good. Yes. Right, um, Imowen, quick save. Ready and willing. Let's make sure I'm doing this right. All right, all right. Disable the trap. It's locked. Okay, well, like, unlock it. Hey, a new quarterstaff. That's good. And then whatever this thing is. It is five bullets. Nice. That'll be useful if we ever find what a sling. Like I will do my best. Uh, what's this? Fluid within this device churns and bubbles, though the tank itself is empty. The tube is unpowered and the creature within is dead. What's this one? I await your need. Uh, the this creature within this tube seems to be alive, albeit creepy. barely. The cells really that power the tube are lifeless. You'll need to find power cells to revive the creature. Find newer power cells to revive dumb. the creature. Within the murky depths of this machine, you can see the lifeless remains of a strange creature consisting of a central orb and numerous eye stalks. It's been dead for some time. It's unpowered. The creature within this tube seems alive, but barely. Okay, we would need more power sources. Okay. Yeah, we don't have power cells. Like, of any kind. And I don't even know where we would find power cells of any kind, so... That's okay. Yeah, so we have a couple that we could save if we had power cells, but we don't have power cells. Okay. On my honor. Yes. Well, move on. And... I'm gonna move up here. Right. Quick save. So there's a path that way as well, actually. How big is this place? It's absolutely massive. Alright, is that locked? It's got a goal a minute. Sewage ghoul. Hello. Kill it. It's a mineral method. I'm hoping they're not going to attack Jahira anymore. There we go. She seems to be taking less damage, which seems good to me. A dangerous mistake. And we got it. Nice. Okay. Grab that. Oh, look at all this stuff here. Right. Um, might as well chuck this to her. You can't, you don't know what it is? Okay, that's fine. Uh, like, I'll chuck it to people. I should probably check who has the highest lore. That would probably save me some time. Yeah, like, I'll chuck that to you as well. I mean, you could use it. Um, why not? We don't actually know what it is, but you could use it. Right. Uh, we also picked up, like, a better shield, potentially. Well, not that we're even using the shield on her currently. Okay, sewage golem. Hello. 
Master, is it you? You have given me no eyes, and I cannot see you. Um. Yes, it it, it is I. Um, have you been performing any services for me? I have cleaned the sewage chambers and fed your guardian. Do you wish me to open the doors to the pit and begin my duties again? Um. Is that all you can do? It is all you have ensorcelled me to do. Um, very well, open the doors and begin your work. You have not activated my movement function. You must use the activation stone. I seem to have misplaced the stone. Do you know where it is, my servant? Raylev has the activation stone, master. It is on the table of his room. The table near his life support jar. Ah, of course. How could I forget? As you will, master. I will return to my rest. Ah, so we know, now know that it's on a table near someone named Raylev. And with that, it is time for us to end our first episode of Baldur's Gate 2. If you enjoyed this, and I only say this at the start of a series because it's where it matters most, I would really appreciate likes, comments, subscribes, all of that sort of stuff, because effectively it helps the search ranking on YouTube, which helps the series get to more people, and it, it then, you know, snowballs from there. So, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.